A man discovers a loophole in the universe and travels back in time to retrieve his wife and job, while also finding out the winning lottery numbers to become wealthy. I think you and I can do this together the right way. Here, Luan. 2016. Attorney Patrick Landry introduces his partner, Philip Grimmer, to Evelyn's sister. Love at first sight happens, although the girl warns of her upcoming departure to Prague and asks not to get attached. Six years later, the couple wakes up in the same bed. Phil immediately rushes to his laptop while Ev answers a call from her mother, who invites them to dinner for her birthday. However, Phil, as always, doesn't listen to his wife. His mind is preoccupied with work issues. Realizing this, the woman allows her husband not to go with her and asks him to repeat it on camera. Later, Philip argues with the builders who can't seem to finish the renovation of their house. The foreman complains about the absence of the homeowner's brother Andy, whom they hired at his request, and irritated Phil promises to find another carpenter. On the way to work, Phil justifies Andy in every way, ignoring his wife's request to turn left, which leads to a traffic jam. Ev says she's taking the subway because she needs to go somewhere else. Philip, on the other hand, goes to his brother, who overslept. The crucial thing is that he hasn't consumed alcohol, which is strictly forbidden for him because he's an alcoholic. After sending his brother to work, Phil rushes to the company, as it's an important day for them. He texts his wife, hoping she's already there, but she asks for a conversation which her husband once again doesn't hear. Later, they all gather at the same table because they work for the same company they own. Patrick complains about the lack of a secretary in their team, so Ev has to work much more. Still, Phil reminds them that today they will make a deal with Kiss Company, and money won't be a problem anymore. In the evening, Patrick presents his part of the presentation, while Phil works on his own. Finally, after finishing everything, the man goes home, only to find the bedroom painted blue and his wife asleep. In the morning, Ev wakes him up with a question about the bedroom color. However, her husband refuses to discuss this trivial matter and rushes to meet with representatives of the Kiss Company, which specializes in building mines for valuable minerals. The lawyers are convinced that they are the best to mediate with the locals who oppose the project. Afterward, Phil rushes home with champagne to celebrate their success with his wife, but Ev meets him with her things packed, as she intends to leave him. She reminds him of numerous instances when he ignored her interests and departs. Phil roams around the house, not knowing what to do, but then remembers the invitation from his mother-in-law and goes to Evelyn's parents' home. However, the woman refuses to talk to him, and to prevent a scandal, Patrick takes his friend to a bar. He confesses that he knew about his sister's intentions but kept quiet because of a contract. Disheartened, Phil heads to the restroom, where he stumbles upon an ad inviting him to use Plan B and correct his mistakes. All evening, he tries to find his wife, but she is nowhere to be found, and she doesn't answer his calls. The man dials the agency's number, and, not entirely sure what he's doing, names the date of the day he'd like to return to. Specifically, yesterday morning. In the morning, Phil wakes up to find Andy working in his living room. Due to the events of the previous day, his head isn't functioning well, and he is surprised to read a message from Plan B. Then, there's a knock on the door, and two identical guys appear on the doorstep, grabbing Phil and dragging him into a van parked outside. After this, he wakes up two days earlier. Bewildered, Phil, without allowing his wife to finish, agrees to go to her mother's birthday party, which astonishes Evelyn. He also requests the foreman to find a replacement for his brother. On the way, stuck in traffic again, he follows his wife and discovers her at a clinic, where a surprised Ev mentions a delay. Phil doesn't understand why she didn't tell him earlier, but she suggests discussing it later. He waits for her in the car, where his wife admits she considered their relationship over. Her husband pleads for another chance and asks her to remind him what color she wanted for the bedroom. He then calls the foreman, who has already painted the walls blue, orders him to stop, and later fires Andy. At work, Phil takes on all of Ev's extra work, which leaves him with no time to complete his part of the presentation. While his wife goes to meet a friend, he rushes home and paints the walls in her favorite color. Catching him in the act, Evelyn is surprised, but counts it as an effort. Furthermore, he apologizes for her having to do something she doesn't love, despite always dreaming of being a musician. He suggests she resume playing the cello. The woman is completely taken aback. In the morning, Phil confesses that he hasn't finished his part of the presentation. Patrick tries to fix the situation, but... Kiss refuses to sign a contract with the lawyers. Later, the family goes to a formal dinner, where Phil raises a toast to the family. 
Patrick admits that he had a relationship with one of the KISS executives for the sake of the contract, even though he has a family, and they still have a chance. On the way home, Ev thanks her husband for his efforts to save their family, and the couple loves each other. In the morning, the wife starts searching the internet for a cello and a good tutor, when cries come from downstairs. The angry Andy has come to confront his brother who fired him, which means he won't be able to pay child support or see his daughter. At this point, Patrick calls and reminds him that everyone is already waiting for him. Andy leaves, and Ev expresses her grievances since her husband had promised to pay for both the repairs and her desires. The preoccupied Phil promises to sort everything out. Three years ago, Phil and Ev spend a vacation in the Caribbean. They are completely happy, and the woman suggests getting married right there. Phil even tries to give her a ring, but he gets scared of something and backs out of his intention. In 2022, Phil shows Ev the cello he has repurchased for her, which she had once sold, and promises that everything will be very good for them. Afterward, he checks on his brother, whom he got a job, and they are very pleased with his performance. Andy asks him to pass a gift to his daughter, because his wife spotted him drunken and hasn't allowed them to meet. Andy's wife doesn't believe in her ex-husband's potential for change, but Phil persuades her otherwise and gives the gift to his niece. Later, he brilliantly presents and Kiss signs a contract with them, provided that they find a good lawyer who will exclusively represent them. In the evening, Patrick informs Phil that he has made arrangements with a highly reputed lawyer and asks him to attend a meeting. It turns out to be Miranda Delano, which Phil receives with visible tension. The reason is that he outplayed her in court, and the woman hasn't forgotten that. Furthermore, it's evident that Miranda has a liking for Phil, who agrees to have her join their firm. In the morning, the man meets the new secretary hired by Patrick and finds him with the representative from KISS, who approves of Miranda's invitation. She has come to provide them with the addresses of two property owners who refuse to sell and thus obstruct the scheduled construction. On the way, Phil tries to convince Patrick to reconsider Miranda, but he can't understand the reasons for this. The couple manages to persuade one of the stubborn property owners, while Evelyn begins taking her first lessons, which makes it difficult for her to fulfill her duties at the firm. Meanwhile, the second property owner sends lawyers and refuses to sell. In the evening, Ev comes home later than planned because she met with a friend and again refuses to discuss the appearance of a child. Meanwhile, Patrick rents a good apartment for the secretary within walking distance of the office, persuading the young woman that she is indispensable. Later, the lawyers meet with representatives of KISS, who point out a mistake in the documents made by Ev. Patrick informs them that Miranda is on her way to their office at the moment. Phil rushes there but doesn't manage to prevent the meeting of the two women. Later, Phil points out Ev's mistake, which is why they had to seek a competent lawyer, since she won't be able to work soon. The woman refuses to talk, and Phil calls Plan B to prevent the hiring of Miranda, but it turns out his credit card is empty. He buys flowers and goes to his wife, who is upset that Miranda has re-entered their lives. It turns out that Ev received a message from Phil to Miranda, by mistake, where he confessed his desire to be with her. Although her husband argued that there was nothing between them, she can't stand to hear the rival's name. She gave up her career to be with him, and Phil doesn't appreciate it, bringing Miranda into their firm. But the husband reminds her that she chose him over her career, and now he is the one fighting for their relationship. In the morning, he apologizes to his wife and shows her the ring, purchased even before their trip to the Caribbean. He talks about the cancellation of the offer to Miranda, and then goes to the lawyer to inform her that she won't be able to work at their firm. His next destination is the home of the second property owner, where he discovers that their new secretary is the daughter of the stubborn man. After listening to her, he begins to lean towards the decision to sell the house. After that, Phil informs Patrick that he and Ev are going on vacation and the offer to Miranda is cancelled. He tells Evelyn the same thing, confessing that he was flattered by the attention of a famous lawyer. He asks for the child to still be a part of their plans and Ev agrees, packing for the trip. They arrive at the same place where once upon a time, Philip was going to propose. Upon reaching the shore, he presents Ev with the ring. However, she recalls the feelings she experienced upon learning about Miranda and admits that she cheated on him. Phil throws the ring away and leaves. Returning home, Phil learns that the public is in an uproar over Kiss's intention to open the mine and accuses the lawyers of deception. Evelyn tries to talk to Phil, and he finally agrees to listen to her in exchange for the name of her lover. 
Ev reminds him of a client who was upset about his divorce and hit a woman on the way home. So, his lawyer Terence showed interest in her. They had a brief fling, but it didn't last long. She asks her husband for forgiveness, but Phil is unforgiving, even though he was busy with Miranda at the time. The man remembers how the lawyer gave him her address, but he didn't go to her back then. Ev continues to remember how she asked for his help because she felt a lump in her chest and was very afraid of cancer. Her husband just brushed off her fears at the time, but Phil suddenly asks about the timing of her affair and concludes that the child inside her is not his, as they always used protection. At this time, Patrick ends his relationship with one of the KISS leaders he got involved with for the contract. Phil has to search for his seemingly drunk brother and calm down their selfish mother, who reminds him of the day when Andy, his brother, stormed into her house, causing trouble. They accuse each other of mutual inattentiveness, and Phil ends up taking the blame again. Later, he conducts an interview with a candidate for the lawyer role, who proposes entirely unacceptable terms. After this, Phil fires Ev because it was her mistake that got them into this situation. A quarrel ensues and the man admits that he shouldn't have bought the house with her. Patrick learns about this and reminds him that half the firm is his. But Phil doesn't want to hear anything and calls Plan B to prevent the purchase of the house. Soon, Patrick calls him, revealing that he had been keeping his family a secret from his lover who saw them with the children today. This could cause problems with Kiss. On TV, reports about protests against the mine construction are broadcast, which Ev interrupts, reminding Phil of the day they didn't use protection. So, the child is definitely his. And right at that moment, the twins from Plan B ring the doorbell. Phil finds himself back on the day when they were inspecting the house, and he decided not to buy it. Later, Ev asks him to help examine her breast because she thinks there is a lump. He advises his wife to see a doctor and heads to court, where his opponent is Miranda. Phil counters all her objections and proposes to meet and discuss the terms. During the conversation, he receives a call from Andy, and Phil remembers that today, an unpleasant scene will take place at his brother's wife's house. He rushes there and prevents the scandal. He returns home late, and Evelyn, who has woken up, comforts him, sympathizing with his problems with his brother. In the morning, she initiates a conversation about the house, but Phil avoids answering because he constantly envisions Ev's infidelity. The next day, he tells his brother that Ev might be unfaithful to him, but Andy doesn't understand this perspective. Why worry about something that hasn't happened? Later he wins the court case, and Miranda invites him to dinner, after which the two of them end up at her place. But suddenly, Phil sees Evelyn's face before him and realizes that he cannot betray the woman he loves. He goes back home, confesses his love to Ev, and in the morning, he suggests that they get back to making music, as that's what she had always wanted. He also agrees to buy the house they both liked. He easily wins all the cases that follow, amazes his wife with his foresight, and decides to quit working for Kiss. Andy returns to the family, and Phil becomes the lawyer for the man involved in the past accident with a woman. He comforts his client and offers to drive him home, as the man is deeply upset and has been drinking. They pause at the spot where the tragedy happened, and the woman calmly crosses the road. After dropping off his client at home, Phil drives to Terence's law firm, just to see him. In the evening, he buys flowers and arrives on time to conceive a child. The next day, Patrick informs that he secured a contract to represent the residents against Kiss, and Ev heads for an audition. Over time, the couple's relatives visit their new home and learn about Ev's pregnancy. They all raise a toast for the cellist's success, but Phil still can't shake off the visions of her being unfaithful to him. Evelyn starts rehearsals with the chamber orchestra, and her conductor pays close attention to her. Meanwhile, lawyers discover that Kiss is buying land around the designated mining areas. But why? Patrick learns about Kiss Company's data and starts monitoring it. One day, he follows a woman and stumbles upon a gathering of people who want to climb Mount Kilimanjaro to raise money for cancer research, where he meets the woman. As for Phil, he goes to meet Ev after her rehearsal and observes her warm relationship with the conductor, Alejandro, which once again triggers jealousy in him. Moreover, she refuses to leave because she needs to rehearse a lot. Patrick, on the other hand, continues to get to know the corporation's expert in chemistry, who reveals information about the mineral extracted by KISS. It's not the mineral itself that's dangerous, but what surrounds it, which is why the business people are buying up the neighboring lands. 
This means that the people living nearby will undoubtedly suffer if mineral mining begins. At the same time, Ev spends more time with the orchestra, which, of course, bothers Phil. Nevertheless, he tries to control his jealousy. One day, he attends an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting to support Andy and hears him speak about his brother, who is a role model for him. Andy introduces his brother to the organizer of the meetings, and Phil brings up the issue of infidelity that never happened. Andy acknowledges that there is a problem. As for Phil, a new obsession develops. Now he envisions Ev with Alejandro. Patrick continues his relationship with the expert and gets to know her seriously ill partner, earning the woman's complete trust. Meanwhile, people from the surrounding area come to Phil, scared and refusing to sue Kiss, which makes him late for Evelyn's performance. This causes her anger and another argument. But the couple makes amends and their relationship is restored until the moment when Ev has to leave for a tour. Phil notices that she doesn't look well, but she attributes it to tiredness. Later, Patrick announces that the expert revealed that her safety report was a fake, which means they have the corporation in their hands. He intends to threaten Kiss and demand a substantial sum from them. Phil reminds him that without the girl's testimony, the recording won't be considered evidence. With no place to go after work and his wife not answering his calls, Phil remembers the meeting place and decides to go there to talk to the organizer. The man listens to his confessions about not trusting his wife and laments that, unfortunately, one cannot turn back time. He advises Phil to either accept the woman or let her go and move on. In the morning, he witnesses a commotion in Patrick's office. The expert has no intention of confirming her statements, which means the information gathered by the lawyer holds no weight. Then Patrick suggests intimidating Kiss, to which Phil recommends hiring their own expert and conducting analyses. Patrick takes it upon himself to go to the corporation and tells them that he knows everything and demands hush money. Meanwhile, Phil receives a call from Quebec in the middle of the night, informing him that Ev is in the hospital due to premature labor. He rushes there and learns that the situation was triggered by an infection. The woman is out of danger but their baby girl is very weak and gets sent to a specialized clinic. At the same time, Patrick discovers a noose hanging on a swing set in his yard. Evelyn struggles with the aftermath, while Phil organizes her transfer to the same clinic where their daughter is. Patrick nearly hits a car in the parking lot. Meanwhile, the doctor informs Ev that her daughter is very weak and is unlikely to survive. The cause of this was a urinary tract infection in the mother, which triggered a kidney disease in the baby. Phil tries to ascertain the exact timing of when the illness started, but the doctor doesn't understand and refuses to answer. Later, all the relatives come to support Ev, and Patrick asks Phil to be closer to his sister. After returning home, Patrick finds a box with pictures of his family. This night, Ev confesses that she has felt unwell for a long time, but skipped the doctor's appointment due to her tour schedule. Phil asks the doctor for a prognosis, and she admits that, in all likelihood, Ev could have prevented what happened by coming in for an examination. Phil calls Plan B. Five years ago, the couple discusses the possibility of having children, but Evelyn wants to ensure they have everything they need. Phil promises that when their children arrive, they will grow up in a big house with everything they need. In the present, Phil places an order and is informed that the agents will arrive tomorrow. In the meantime, he goes to the boxing gym, takes out a tiny girl, and promises that he will definitely save her. He makes the same promise to his wife, who is on the verge of despair. Meanwhile, Patrick receives instructions to go to a motel and check in under a false name. He complies, calls Phil, and tells him that he went to kiss, and now he's being threatened. He asks for help, but Phil doesn't want to assist someone who acted against his advice. The next day, Phil waits for the Plan B agents, but they are nowhere to be found. Evelyn asks him to come to her, but he can't leave the house. He waits and starts cutting some information on his arm. They arrive late in the evening, and Phil finds himself at the moment when his wife was getting ready for her tour. He immediately tells Ev that she can't go because she has a fever, but she refuses to listen. Phil refers to the vision and then says that he has already experienced this. He tries to stop her, but Evelyn falls down the stairs just when her friend enters the house. Thankfully, there are no injuries to Evelyn, but the mere fact that her husband allegedly pushed her causes a real shock. The women literally rush to the orchestra's van, not giving Phil a chance to explain. Then he gets into his car and rushes after them, listening to Patrick's message about the false kiss report. He asks his partner not to threaten the corporation and promises to handle everything, but realizing that he can't stop Evelyn, 
he turns onto another road, calls his mother, and asks her to inform Ev that he had an accident and was taken to a clinical hospital. The woman calls Ev, and she, along with her friend, rushes to the hospital where her doctor, whom Phil tracked down, is already waiting for her. She insists on a checkup while Phil buys a lottery ticket. Evelyn meets her husband with suspicion because he looks quite well for someone who was in an accident, but Patrick becomes the center of his attention, eager to find out how he learned about the fake reports. However, Phil asks to postpone all the questions because Evelyn is in danger. Then the doctor informs them that she has detected an infection, and this is a real miracle. Had they come later, things could have gone very badly. The expectant mother must adhere to bed rest. Phil has to come up with an explanation for noticing discharge on her underwear, thereby suspecting an illness and then having a dream in which their daughter was born prematurely and died because Ev didn't undergo an examination. Ev doesn't believe him, but Phil finds excuses for all her questions. The most important thing is that they are both fine. At this moment, the lottery results are shown on TV and Phil rolls up his sleeve, concealing the numbers cut into his skin. Later, he wins a huge jackpot, but keeps it a secret from everyone. In this storyline, he goes to kiss himself and, threatening to carry out an independent investigation, demands that they abandon the construction of the mine in the populated area. Later, Evelyn expresses her frustration at having to stay in bed for months, but Phil reminds her of her words about not being able to cope if something happens to the baby. Evelyn is surprised. She didn't say such things. Meanwhile, the lawyer persuades people not to give in to kiss and to preserve the environment for their children and grandchildren, although Patrick is in favor of taking the corporation's money and ending the resistance because he needs the money to pay off his mortgage. But Phil remains resolute and reminds them about conscience. Two days later, he goes to pick up Evelyn, not realizing that he is being followed. He picks up his wife, who doesn't understand what has happened to her partner, who tries to control her every move. Evelyn is surprised to see a new car, and Phil almost hits Patrick's car in the parking lot. A letter with photos of his family is found at the door. He calls a specialist to install security systems in the house, which surprises Evelyn. He has to confess that Kiss is threatening him. He tells Patrick the same thing. He then offers him money to leave the firm. The partner is utterly puzzled, and Phil gives an interview where he reveals everything about the deal with the corporation and the fake reports. A commotion ensues, and now it's pointless and even dangerous to threaten Phil. Evelyn misses him more and more, so Phil brings a stack of videotapes and books to the house and hires a housekeeper and a nurse for her. She doesn't understand where the money came from, and in the meantime, Phil buys a new house and buys out Patrick's share for a very good price. One day, he catches Evelyn at home with Alejandro and her friend, with whom she's rehearsing, and again, he experiences jealousy. Unable to stand it, he takes Evelyn to the new house and admits that he won $25 million. He shows her the house, especially proud of the children's room when Evelyn's water breaks. He takes her to the hospital, where Evelyn gives birth to a healthy girl. Seven years ago, Evelyn wakes up with a hangover in bed with a guy who hopes for a continuation of their relationship. But Evelyn has no intention of starting a relationship, and today she needs to be at a party celebrating the opening of her brother's law firm, where she meets Phil and eventually enters into a relationship. In the present, Phil joyfully takes care of the child and establishes a fund to help sick children to prevent sorrow and pain. However, his transformation into a politician leads to Evelyn's feeling of misunderstanding and even disapproval. Patrick also hopes for his return to the firm, although he acquired it entirely. And one day, Evelyn confesses that he is suffocating her with his care. He always knows what to do and makes her follow his advice. Then Phil tells her about the Plan B agency, which makes her laugh. Naturally, she doesn't believe his words and confesses that she, too, would like to move back in time, never abandon music, not live in the house, not have a child, and not be with him in the first place. Phil is shocked by her admission and suggests they go back to the past, right now. He dials a number, but Evelyn thinks he's crazy and leaves. At home, the woman packs her things and prepares her daughter, despite all her husband's promises to change. He is ready to give her everything, as long as she doesn't leave, but it's all in vain, and Evelyn goes to her parents' house. For the first time, Phil can't decide which period in time he needs to go to in order to fix this. He spends whole days at home, staring at the ceiling when Andy comes and tries to help his brother in any way possible. This ends in a drinking binge and the realization that no amount of money and effort can change the present.
he starts to get heavily involved in the Foundation's work, allocating money for the construction of a children's hospital, when Patrick suddenly shows up with Evelyn because Phil demanded full custody of their daughter. He warns that no one will be able to prove that Evelyn is a bad mother, but a friend of his wife saw him push her down the stairs. Phil offers Patrick $200,000, but for the first time in his life, Patrick is in no need of money, unable to comprehend how his friend reached this point. Evelyn shows up at rehearsals and tells Alejandro that her relationship with Phil is over. However, the woman does not prevent Phil from communicating with their daughter after he has given up full custody. The man goes on outings with the little girl and takes her on weekends. Gradually, his relationship with Evelyn and Patrick improves, although Phil does not rush to sign a divorce agreement. One day, the man goes to a pool where children's classes are taking place and he participates in them, while Evelyn watches from the sidelines, understanding that Phil loves their daughter very much. The woman dedicates herself entirely to her creativity and socializing with friends even though she disagrees that these years were wasted. However, Charlotte falls ill somehow and the couple goes to the hospital, where a doctor, seeing how they care for the girl, calls them an excellent team. On the way back, Phil confesses his love to his wife, but she doesn't want to hear it. They manage to be parents but not a couple. After these words, Phil freezes at the wheel and in the next moment, a collision occurs. His consciousness flickers on and off as he sees doctors, then Patrick, then doctors again, and Andy. Last of all, Evelyn comes in, wishing him to die as soon as possible. But soon Phil regains consciousness and asks Andy to take him home. Andy complies with his request, even though his brother has sustained quite severe injuries. At home, he finds the plan B number and places an order. Andy can't understand what's happening, but his brother simply asks him to wait. In the morning, the doorbell rings and the twins appear at the doorstep of Evelyn. They drag her into the van and the woman wakes up with a hangover in bed with a guy who hopes for a continuation of their relationship. Evelyn can't understand how this was possible and realizing she is in the past, she screams in horror. She bursts into her brother's party and throws a fit, accusing Phil of killing her daughter. Onlookers believe she has gone insane, and Phil even claims he is seeing her for the first time. Her friend believes she might have hit her head, but reminds her that it is time to fly to Prague, as she wanted. The woman packs up and starts a new life. Seven years later, she flies to Canada with Alejandro, whom she intends to marry and introduce to her parents. And at the same time, Phil meets his pregnant wife, Miranda, who had been meeting her ex-husband for business matters, which doesn't sit well with her current spouse. However, Miranda reminds him that she's here with him and has no intention of going anywhere. Besides, they're expecting a child. Phil apologizes because he's been trying hard not to control her every move. They go to a concert where Patrick and his family are also present and he introduces Evelyn to his friend's family. Later, when they're alone, she confesses that she was very angry with him. But now she's grateful for what he did. She's happy in doing what she loves. It's at this point that Phil apologizes for both himself and Charlotte, indicating that everything that happened was not what it seemed. Many people dream of going back in time and changing something that ruined their lives, but does it always lead to a better outcome?